bigger is better, or is it? Because that's certainly not the memo that New Direction got when they made these N1 bite alarms. Can't see them? One sec. There you go. No. How about now? There you go. So pretty much the N1's biggest talking point is the fact that it's one of the smallest alarms on the market. And as you can see, it is absolutely tiny. To give you a bit more of a size reference, I've got a two pound coin in here, feeling pretty rich. And as you can see, it's about the same size. We put it on the front, probably ever so slightly wider and higher than a two pound coin. And same with the depth, around the same. So all the way around, it's actually thinner um, front to back than a two pound coin. So they are tiny a little alarm heads. And if that's not small enough for you, you can actually remove the screw in and drop the snag ears that come with the alarm as well. So if you want to have it as a really tiny little cube like alarm, then you can do. Obviously, I think you'd probably always keep the snag ears in just because if you had a violent take, I don't reckon the internal guide of your rods would quite be enough. But uh, there we go, there's the alarm head on the hull. But um, you may be looking at it thinking, well, where on earth does the sound come from? It doesn't make a single sound. It's got one button on the front, on and off. As you press it, the LED on the top left of the alarm illuminates to tell you that it's on. And if you get a take, that will light up, but that's all you'll get from this. And again, press and hold to turn it back off. So um, as an alarm, it seems pretty pointless that all it does is light up. Surely your clutch spinning and your rod bouncing around is gonna give you more of an indication that you've got a bite than these alarm heads. But what these alarm heads do do, as with all things New Direction, is they're packed full of tech and they correspond with several other items in the range. So we'll get onto that in a second. But a couple other little quick things to note is that there's also an isotope slot on the top right of the alarm and on the side there's a USB charging port. And on the base of the alarm, instead of a screw thread, it comes with a quick release magnetic plate as standard. So you can quickly change where you have your alarm head, whether it's on your pod or moving it over onto a bank stick setup. As long as you're using the quick release setup that ND sell, then you can move these alarms around nice and quickly. Now along with the N1 alarms comes a receiver because the N1 alarms, although nice and small, are a bit like a car without an engine. Maybe good to look at, but doesn't really do what you need an alarm to do. So you need a little bit of extra power behind it to help you out. And that's where the receiver comes in. Syncs up nice and simply. If I just turn it on, the notorious ND jingle. Press and hold into the menu system, and then you scroll down to register alarm. You click on that, choose the color you want to sync up, and then you roll the roller, and it will sync up to this, and you're done. So then if this alarm goes off, it will then signal on here. So if I just go back onto here and turn this alarm back on, like so, I can then use the roller. There we go, and it's telling me that the red alarm, because I've already synced these up, is going off. So there we are. But that's not where it stops either. So if I now know that this is the red alarm, I can press and hold and go into the menu system once again, and then go into remote setup. Choose the alarm I want to adjust, which is set red, which is what I'm on. It's now synced up to it. Now I can change the volume of this alarm up to quite loud. So that uh, obviously these don't have speakers, so that's ideal that you can do that. Go along and I can change the tone. So I can change it all the way down to one and up to six as well. And you've also got sensitivity. There's nine different sensitivities on these alarms, one being the most sensitive and nine being the least sensitive. So say if the wind picked up, pick up your receiver, drop down the sensitivity somewhat, or if it started, excuse me, shaking this alarm around. As you can see, I've got it on quite sensitive at the moment. So I have to go back into the menu to go back to that setting. So say if you were shaking the alarm around while trying to do a piece to camera, <laughs> which is gonna keep happening, I'm gonna go into the menu system, go along to the sensitivity and drop that down to nine. Now, shake it around. There we go, and carry on talking and go along. So you've just got several different adjustments you can make on the receiver that directly correspond to the alarm head. And you also change the color of the LED as well if you so wish to do so. So there you are. You've then synced up your receiver to the alarm heads. Now, I think that's the main selling point is that because these are so discreet and small, you can have them on little um, roving setups, little on the bank sticks. And because they've got the quick release plate, you can just chop and change where you put these on different bank sticks very quickly. Then you've got this, it's always in your pocket. You can have this on vibrate as well, so you can be extremely discreet about your fishing. 
you don't need to have a big alarm head if you always like to use a receiver anyway because that's the same with my personal alarms i can have the alarms on themselves but i often have them on mute and just listen out to the receiver so that's where this is come in because it doesn't need all the speaker cones, all the different adjustments on here, but you can do it all from one device in your pocket. And I can go through each alarm from sat on my uh, bed chair without having to go out into my swim and, and adjust it. And because it's in my hand, I can have it on silent as well. I don't need to let anyone else know on the lake that I'm adjusting things or having indication from my alarms. It's all in my receiver. But there is more. There's always more with ND. Remember, if you like this sort of content and much, much more, then please do subscribe to us and hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future upload and you get notified each time an upload goes up. And also follow us on all the social media platforms coming up at the bottom of your screen right now for daily updates. ND never like to leave you with just the one option of bite indication, which is why they've got a whole plethora of different things in the range, which everything syncs up to everything. Now, one of these things is the sounder box. So although the alarms come with a receiver, you can also get a sounder box as a separate purchase and this does a similar thing to the receiver but it also has a handy light feature on it as well so if we just turn this on as you can see it's got the light at the very top if i cycle through the different light settings you've got white red and green and off now as i said this is a sounder box so i've synced these up to my alarm so if i then got a bite or indication on my alarm it sounds through this it's got different volume settings if i scroll through them Sorry, everyone else on the lake. And a silent function as well. So it goes pretty loud as you'd expect a sounder box to do. But uh, it's also got the light feature, as I said. So when you get a take, it will sound and that light will also come on. That's great for at night because I positioned this last night next to my head of my bed chair so that obviously it would wake me up from the sound, but I had it positioned so that the light would illuminate my rods and my swim. So if I got a bite, I don't have to fumble around for a head torch or anything. My swim's illuminated, I know exactly where I'm going, what I'm doing, I can see any obstacles that might be in my way, and that's where that's really handy. But it's also really good for just using generally as a bivy light, so if I turn it back on, put it on the red light mode, which we all know is better for our eyesight at night, it doesn't sort of damage our night vision as much, but there's four different brightness settings on all the different colors as well so if i double tap that light button again dim getting lighter all the way up to its brightest setting and that's the same through all the different lights whether it's on the red white or green you can use that and then you've also got a mute function at the bottom so if you are adjusting your rods you're adjusting your hangers or whatnot and you've got the sounder box connected to them hit the mute button and then that's all three alarms or however many alarms you've got synced to this are then muted through this now this can also be controlled by another one of the items in the ND range, which is the smart wristband. Looks very much like my Fitbit watch sort of thing. If I take that off and stick this one on, this is the B9 from ND. So it looks just the same as a smart band or like a, a fitness watch that you'd wear. So nice and comfortable to wear once I've got it on. And what this does is not only you can sync it up to your alarms as I have done already, but you can also control the sounder box. So if I just click this into place, like so. So if I turn this on, obviously there's no speaker on this either, but a little vibration and all the LEDs flash up for me. Now I have already got this synced up to this alarm. So if I press the button on the ND bite on the wristband, I can turn the light off and back on. So that's really handy if I've got this position somewhere in my swim and I haven't had an indication so the light hasn't come on, but I want to have this on, press the button on my wrist and I can turn it off and on so that's really handy and also this syncs up to my alarms so if i get a bite and i've not got the sounder box on or the receiver on my wrist will vibrate as well and it also tell me which color alarm was going off through my wristband so there's lots of things that you can sync up to the alarms and it's not just these either these are just some of the items you can sync up you've also got the head torch which i've previously done a video on and uh, the bivy light as well they can all be synced up to these things so you can sort of chop and change to what items you want in the range to help you know you've got a bite and if you want you can sync up to all of them you may not be the most popular person on the lake with your light with your uh, swim lighting up like a christmas tree and every sound coming from like surround sound in your swim but if you're hard of hearing and not great sight then it may be for you because you can uh, use all of those things and this is also really handy for uh, night self takes as well because you've got the four different brightness levels you can put it on the white light make it nice and bright it should help you with uh, your night self takes as well or just general lighting at night so that's some of the more items 
in the ND range. You'll also be pleased to know that a set of three N1 alarms and the receiver, which is included in the kit, comes in at just £109. I don't think anyone can quibble that that is a very cheap price for a set of three and a receiver in this day and age. And that also gives you the scope to expand your range in the ND range, whether you want to connect it to your sounder box, to a, a wristband, to a head torch, to a bivy light, to an automatic opening bivy door. It's not actually out yet, but it's going that way. You can sync it up to everything. There's so much that you can customise to your own fishing needs, how you want to be known when you get a bite, or just general help on the bank with all this tech. But starting off with a set of three and a receiver 109 is just brilliant value for money. So for more information, please do head over to the New Direction website. And remember to subscribe to us and hit the bell icon if you haven't done already, and follow us on all the social media platforms coming up on your screen right now for regular updates. But that's it from me for now. Cheers for watching, and I'll see you again soon.